Okay, so we're gonna make this really quick. I wanna show you something that Freewheel Gear just released last week and is their magnetic variable ND filter system. It's for DSLR and mirrorless cameras and Freewheel Gear knocked it out of the park with these. Now, I'm gonna make this quick because I know this is not a camera channel, but I wanna tell you why these are important. Hi everyone, my name is Russ, welcome to 51 Drones. And like I mentioned, this is a drone channel, action camera channel, gimbal channel, and sometimes solar generator channel. But I wanted to show you this thing that Freewell came out with this past week because I do use their ND filters on my drones. I think they're amazing. They've taken all of their resources and put it into developing ND filters and other filters for drones and cameras. And what they've done with the magnetic VND system is they've made it possible for someone to have every filter that you need in one package for a fraction of the price as if you had to pay for each of these filters on their own. And so I wanna show you right now, right now I'm shooting at one over 400 shutter speed, which is a pretty high shutter speed. I want my aperture as wide open as possible because I want a little bit of a blurry background. So I'm at F 1.8. That's as wide open as this lens will go. I have the 20 mil Sony lens on here. So 1.8 is as open as it goes. And then my ISO is at 100 because I wanna have uh, the least amount of grain in my video as much as possible. So one over 400, I just wanna show you what happens right here. When I wave, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video right here and look at my hand. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna show you what happens when I put on the ND filter. Now the Freewell variable ND magnetic system comes with five different things that you can put on your camera lens. And I'll explain each of them here in just a second. So right now I have on the VND base and you do have to have a base on for this to work for the ND system. So it comes with two bases. There's the VND base and then there's the glow mist filter base, which is pretty cool. It's not something that I'm gonna use, but it's for people that wanna get that really kind of that unique look that cinematic, almost documentary type look. But I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. So right now I just have, it's a one-stop ND filter. It's the VND base. You have to have that on there. And uh, let's put on the two to five stop here. And this is the beauty of this system is that it's magnetic. You just go ahead and pop it on there and it's already set. So right now, so that's a little bit too dark. I'm gonna go ahead and dial it to, let's put it on five stops and see what happens. I'm gonna turn my shutter speed down. I want my shutter speed at one over 60 because I'm shooting at 30 frames per second, so I want it to be double that. So there's one over 60, it's a little bit too dark, so all I have to do is dial that back just a tiny bit, and look at that. That's the beauty of this magnetic system, is because you can dial in your brightness just with a simple twist like that, so it's pretty cool. I guess that is about right, right there, five stops. I'm at one over 60, that's the correct shutter speed to get the 180 degree shutter rule. If you need to know what that's about, go ahead and look it up, I'm not gonna explain it here today because People have explained that till the cows come home, but I'm perfect right now. I got one over 60, F1.8, so I got a blurry background. So I was editing this video and I just realized I forgot to show you guys what my hand looks like at a shutter speed of one over 60. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and take a look and see what kind of motion blur we have. So as you can see, one over 60 shutter speed is better. It has that 180 degree shutter rule and it gives you some motion blur and that looks more natural to the human eye. All I have to do is if I wanna pop on the next one, the six to nine, and this is gonna to be too dark when I put this on here, but pop that one off, pop that one on, and look at that. I mean, look at how easy it is to change your exposure just with a simple magnetic filter and then twisting it. So, so I think this is probably gonna be, I'm gonna get this put on here correctly here. So there we go. You have to have it lined up correctly. And uh, I think this is probably gonna be the last ND filter that I, ND filter video that I ever do because I don't know how you're gonna be able to improve upon this. Like, I don't think anyone's gonna beat what Freewell has done with this. So, so I just wanna show you real quickly what the glow mist filter looks like. And keep in mind that this is not the ideal situation to use a, a glow mist filter, but this is a base, it's called the glow mist. I'm gonna pop that on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on this two to five Basically you have 20 functions with this system here. There's 20 different things that you can do with this system. And uh, it's pretty cool. So there's the glow mist. As you can see, it makes things kind of a, it adds like a misty uh, exposure to everything. Everything looks kind of like, I don't know, a more cinematic. This is more for people like shoot documentaries. What it does is if you're shooting in a low light situation and there's some highlights like a light or something like that, I'll put an example up on the screen here, but 
what it does is it makes it makes those highlights kind of like misty and it looks really cool it kind of presents a different kind of mood so it's kind of a niche thing like i said not something that most people are going to use on a regular basis but it is something fun and i'm glad that they put it in here so let's go ahead and pop this off here now i want to show you what else comes with this filter system uh let's go ahead and put on the uh, base the regular vnd base the one-stop base right there and we're just going to dial this in so our shutter speed is back up to 320 right there so that's a little bit too bright there we go one over 400 so what you can do and this is what's really cool about this system is okay so let's look at the two to five stop all right it's a two to five stop nd filter but if you turn it around it's a circular polarizer so this one filter has two functions two to five stops of neutral density the other side is a circular polarizer and i'll put an example up here on the screen of what the circular polarizer does but it removes reflections from water and glass and things like that, the sun reflecting off of things. And then also it makes your skies really rich and blue. And so the circular polarizer is on the other side of that two to five. And then if you look at the six to nine filter, on the other side of that is a straight up ND32 polarizer filter. So it's a straight up five stops of neutral density plus the polarizer. And so again, two functions on there. And then it does come with a magnetic lens cap. So that goes right on top of any of these filters and so right now freewell's running an indiegogo they're doing a, a crowdfunding campaign for this and there's only a few left of the super early bird special i think you can get this entire system for 300 dollars, under 300 dollars, and then as soon as those are gone it goes up to the next level and i think i'm not sure but i think it's a hundred dollars more i'll put it up on the screen here and uh and so you don't have much time to get in on this super early bird special freewell Thank you for sending these to me to try them out. I will be using these with every outdoor video that I shoot because I like having the ability to adjust quickly. Like right now, the clouds just came over. So I can go ahead and just kind of dial that in. Oh, I don't have it on there. But anyway, I can go ahead and dial it in to get my exposure right. I don't have to unscrew and screw all the time. So there you can see the sun is coming back out. But, but it's just really, really convenient. And for $300, every filter that you're ever gonna need to shoot any kind of cinematic video. So I'll put a link in the description for the Indiegogo. You can go ahead and click on that, order these ahead of time. I think they're gonna be shipping in September. And, uh, and yeah, great system, great job, Freewell. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.